go from that to three kids who I'm sure are not Swifties. Mm. Three Creekside High School students facing charges oh, for... Those kids. Yeah, I know. Facing charges for threat hit lists, deputies say. Three students from Creekside have been arrested after authorities uncovered discussions about a, quote, lethal hit list mm. targeting fellow students. This is scary, and you got to take it all seriously, man. Uh, the sheriff's office revealed that uh, the students, age 15, 14, and also 14, uh, had exchanged group text messages highlighting uh, target students, sharing photographs uh, with faces circled, aerial images of the school with an on-campus location marked, references to firearms. Oh, wow. Okay. There we yeah, go. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it's stupid. I mean, I know teenagers are angsty, but that this is taking it up like a whole other night. We had burn books back in the day, like, you know, if you didn't like somebody, you wrote it in a journal, you know. But this is way different. Yeah, what happened to the days of just crossing their face out in the yearbook, right? Right, yeah. Drawing a mustache on it. Right, yeah. Yeah. The sheriff's office considered these messages to be a credible threat against other students. The students had formed a group chat initially named the United Boyopolis Socialist Republic. Mm. That's a name. Did you see the kids? I mean, they looked like they were fresh out of diapers. I mean, they're I babies, right? Now, typically, you can't even show kids that age. But I guess mm -hmm. since they made these serious threats, yeah, their pictures can be th thrown out there. Mm -hmm. uh, they made this really stupid named group as a response to the bullying they experienced, they say. Uh, with this chat, they shared uh, class schedules, home addresses, and photos of the targeted students with faces circled for identification. Mm. One considered, uh, one concerned student reported the chat to school staff. Sheriff Rob Hardwick stated that uh, initially it was a, quote, hit list meant for physical harm, but quickly et uh, escalated into what they considered to be a lethal hit list with intentions to kill. Mm. The listed students, they say. Do you think that these kids know to use bullying as a defense? Because, I mean, it seems like... You I don't know, think they it, care. Bully, bullying, um, you know, the, these three were able to find each other. I mean, and, and I'm, I'm just... I'm, I don't want to downplay bullying at all. Right, but right, it's right. almost like it's almost being overused. So when it is a real threat... You're saying it was kind of an excuse. Uh, it's an excuse to, for, this for bad behavior. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And it's almost like, oh, well, they were being bullied. No, there's no reason for any of this behavior at all. Right. I, to me, I feel like they're using it as an excuse too often uh, when it comes to stuff like well, this. Well, we live in a culture today where uh, I, I think there's a valid point to that because everybody... Uh, that wants to be a victim of something. Mm -hmm. It's almost like mm -hmm. they want to be a victim of something yeah. so that they can be in that yeah. victim class and people will feel sorry for them and give people attention. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then the worst yeah. waveform of it. Yeah. I, I think people blame a lot from. of I think people blame a lot of bad behavior on on pretending to be a victim or mm -hmm. thinking mm -hmm. they're a victim. Some people honestly think they're a victim. Or they honestly something. believe it. And 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 today is National Mental Health Day, so I don't want to downplay anybody's thoughts or stuff like that. But I mean it, it's you know, it's just like, but bullying seems to be, oh, he got in trouble. Well, it was because he was being bullied. Right. You, you do know, hear that a lot. You sure. know what I mean? Sure. I mean, it's, it's I mean like, kids are going to be nasty no matter what. So are there different degrees of bullying? Yeah. Um, is there, is that a question? Yeah. Like extreme bullying is something and then versus, you know, playing slap and tickle and they took the joke wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I, I, lots of intricacies to it that I'm sure we're not. They're going to get bullied in jail. So, yeah. You know, yes, they will. So, yeah. What's going to happen? Yeah, I'm surprised how public this was made too, because how young they were. Am I just saying that out of out of context? No, it's typically when you're that young. I mean, you don't even get mug shots out there. I, I was very surprised to see the mug shots of these kids. Me out too. There. I was like, wow. Um, but yeah. apparently, this is such a heinous thing. Uh, it truly is. I guess so. And after what we've seen, you know, over the last couple of years, right. God bless Tristan Bailey. Gotta I know. say it, my God bless her. And, and, yeah. Tim, and Tim just wrote, as a society, we've become desensitized to violence in movies in 1980 versus two. I, I, I disagree with that 1,000%. I mean, I don't totally in disagree 1980, with that. In 1980, 
there was more violence in our schools than there is today. Really? I can tell you right now, if we had a problem in 1980, we were punching somebody in the face. Yeah, I saw Lean on mm-hmm. Me. I saw that. Mr. No, Clark. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you right now, there was more violence in schools than But were you bringing guns to school? Were people bringing no, guns we, to school to shoot No, we had them in our trucks. Other? Right, of course. Right, we had sure. Them, we had sure. them in our trucks. I a mean, lot more brass was, knuckles back in the you day. You know, it was, it was so, you know. But the no, threat of lethal violence, violence it's, it's, the th- I think there's more of a threat of lethal violence today than there was in the 80s. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I think kids are just bottling up more. You know, they're more censored. They're more watched. Everything they do is watched. So they get, True. You mm. know, back yeah. when you could just punch somebody in the face and get it all out, you know, it was a different Yeah, uh, no, we, we, yeah. We, we've yeah. softened our society to create some mental health, I think. I think Clay hit that on the on the head, though. They're constantly watched. They're not able to explore and have an imagination. You know what I mean? Like, there's still that whimsical part about being a kid, which does not exist anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, everything there's nothing... you say, someone pulls out a phone and records you. You know what I mean? True. Like, it's, mm-hmm. it's not like we grew up with. And you're also you know, kids are also exposed to a lot more of these things. Mm-hmm. I mean, they just are. Yeah. Uh, at a younger age, man. And yet, sex scenes in movies don't really exist as much as they used to in the '80s. Remember? I mean, that used to, I always had like David, get out of the room. Well, they, don't need, anymore. they don't need to because you can just go to the internet and see a, see a boob anywhere. Right. You know? Is that what you're, is that what you're looking well, you're, up? Yeah. A boob. Yeah. One boob. It's like that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. When you're in middle school and you're waiting for Fast Times at Ridgemont High for the 38th time, you're like, oh, dude, about, I remember. She's about to get out of the pool. In the pool, the pool house scene. Yeah. She's about to get out of the pool. Yeah. The pool yeah. house scene. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Get out, <laughs> Ours was yeah. dirty dancing when yeah. Patrick Swayze got out of bed. All, all the girls would freeze frame that. I remember yeah. that. Oh my God, you see half his butt. But the, the, I mean, not <laughs> saying that that was a great mm-hmm. time, but yeah, they don't exist. Sex scenes. All right, moving on. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. Yeah. Well, that was always awkward to have a to uh, come across a sex scene when you're watching a movie with your parents and you're like 13. That is way awkward. Yeah. <laughs> That's just like the most uh, awkward thing in the world. Bueller. Oh. <laughs> uh, School counselors were made available for students uh, for support, and officials encouraged parents to engage with their children about online activities and social media interactions. Uh, Safety resources and reporting mechanisms were also highlighted. Uh, Yeah. Great job Mm. by the um, sheriff department and their technology that they had. Thank you. Yeah. To do those things. That could have been a disaster. Oh, yeah. Could have been. Yeah, man. Um, I think they hired a new department for just for that specific reason. Yeah, they have they have two people that specifically just yeah. do that. That was that was interesting. Yeah. That was cool. To see that be proactive. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. So thank you to the sheriff's office. Thank you to the uh, diligent staff at the schools for uh, making sure this didn't escalate into something more serious, man. 